when it comes to softball. We've always kind of been a baseball softball family, so they've enjoyed getting out in the park and being able to run around and play. Danielle Reiser and her two daughters love playing at Benbrook Ranch Park. It's in a really good part of town. Uh, we're not that far away. It's you know, majority always clean and uh, the people around the area have been really friendly. And as a mother of two, it was especially frightening to hear that a teenage girl was grabbed while riding her bike along a wooded trail Tuesday afternoon and then was sexually assaulted. I, I want my kids to live a free life and for them to have to have these things happen in a place where there's always people around too is also kind of scary. Leander Police Lieutenant Mike Moeller says the attack happened between 4 and 4.30 p.m. He says the girl was able to make it home where she called police who immediately started searching the area. Whenever there's a crime perpetrated against a child uh, or anybody for that instance, but more so for a child, it is hard on law enforcement, it's hard on the family, it's hard on the public, uh, you know, to know that somebody out there would do this to a child. Leander Police described the suspect as a white male approximately 5 foot 11 and 180 pounds, with short brown hair and stubble on his face. At the time of the assault, he was wearing a blue hoodie and jeans. Police used a drone and canines to search the area, but weren't able to find the suspect. The Mueller says they're currently working several leads. So they are pertinent to the case. And want to keep the, the, the information close to us, but we are following up on a few other leads that we have developed. While the suspect remains on the loose, parents we spoke to say they'll be keeping a closer eye on their children. I mean, hopefully they catch them. I mean, it's one of those things, it's, it just makes you nervous. A sad reality now at Bimbroke Ranch Park. Usually I, I, I would let my kids go play on the park over there and I could see them in my eye view and now I really don't want to do that. Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.